Patty Spiller has found a way to give your pets an artistic touch. She's here from Pet Pals TV with pet painter James Kelly. And I promise Stewie is in here too. He's just uh, he's Stewie. keeping your feet warm, Mr. Yes, Kelly. Yes, he is. You know it's a good person yes. when the dog goes immediately over to the elbow. <laughs> Look at you can see Stewie, Stewie behind the the portrait there. Let, let's start with some of these paintings you have here. Patty, what a find. I, I, in fact, a friend of his notified me and said, this man is really talented. You should have him on. <laughs> and I thought, I've got to I've got it. Well, sir. Sure. But these these aren't photographs. These are paintings. But you do use photographs, yes, right? Yes, I do. Tell us about that. Yes. Uh, my clients will email a photo to me and or send it in the mail, and then I'll do a a drawing on my canvas and get the likeness just the way I want it and mm. spray that really good and then I'll do a painting on top of the drawing. So. so what kinds of photos do you look for? I mean I see the end results are often very featuring the faces. Oh yeah. my god, it looks blue. like a photo! Sure, so that's what you look for is something that captures a little bit of personality yes, but also definitely. features? Yes, definitely. Yes, and that's what I love about doing pet paintings is there's so many, you know, personalities and yeah. different breeds and stuff. And, and cats too, huh? Yes, cats too. <laughs> oh, so oh, sweet. So yeah. where are you based? I am in a Garfield Park neighborhood and been there about 18 years now. Wow. So. Has this been a passion your whole life or is it something you Portraiture discovered Portraiture has been okay. a passion of my whole life, yes, for yeah. sure. And then pets just kind of weaved its way yeah, in there? Yeah, it does. Or did I do people as someday? well. In fact, if you uh, go down on Georgia Street in downtown Indianapolis, you'll find my portraits along Georgia Street. I did 10 famous Hoosiers oh, for oh, wow. the city oh. of Indianapolis, yes. Is that so. the one that went up just really recently? Uh, these have been up since about 2000. 2012. Okay, oh, right. so within the last decade. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, if someone's looking to go, oh, I'd like to have that for holidays or Christmas, yeah. they better contact you pretty yeah. soon, right? Right it now takes is you... a good time to get them in. I still have some openings, so yeah, that'd be great. It they... takes you, what, about a month? Uh, I ask for a month's time, but I can get them done in a rush if I have to. Well, I imagine client. you're working on more than one at a time, too, I do. or do you just focus <laughs> <I do>. on the... <laughs> yeah, I do, especially during the holidays. I'll sometimes line them up and get all the charcoal drawings done and then start them uh -huh. from the And what session. does pricing look like? Because I know that this is a f f like finely finished, uh, you know, canvas yeah. print. For the canvas paintings, you can start at about $300. Um, and then I also do watercolors, and that's somewhere around $200. And I can do pencil drawings or charcoal drawings, really just about anything. And they're all on my um, order form on my website. Yeah. You ask an artist, right? And they'll say, well, I'll do whatever you like. That's right. <laughs> would you like a caricature? I can do that. Yes, well, I can... There's something about a painting that's just so loving. I mean, everybody can take a picture of their mm -hmm. painting. Well, hi there. You want to get up now? It's like, wait, does uh, say loving? But a, but a painting is it's loving. <laughs> It just, it just has a little something extra. Oh, yeah. Well, and it's such an age-old tradition. You imagine, you know, before photography, right? It was all mm -hmm. portraits of, of royals. And so to have a portrait of yourself was a really exactly. high-tier, look how great, you know, yes. this, this family is. And you get to, you know, immortalize your pet that way, too. Yeah, and I love the reaction that clients have after when they're picking them up. Uh, oh, now you got to tell me about those. Yeah, <laughs> tell me one that impacted yeah. you. Yeah, oh, I... I I don't know. I can't think of a particular one. I just know that that's a not a an unusual response from people. It's like, oh, they're going to love this. Yeah. You know, it's usually a gift for somebody, and yeah. um, that just really makes me happy knowing that you my know. artwork's making people happy. So. Good. Which means I got to get his picture to you soon, right. <laughs> and, get that and going, Mabel right? too. <laughs> and get, do you get a lot of posthumous requests? Oh yes. I can yes. imagine yeah. finding a way to immortalize a mm -hmm. pup or a kitten. Yeah. Wow. So okay, you said folks can reach you on your website with an order form? Yes, they sure can. I'm at um, jameskellystudios.com and um, check out all my art. I'm also a bubble artist in town. Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> a bubble artist? <laughs> yes, I do gigantic bubbles. I can show you sometime. Oh, uh, yes. And dogs love them too. Uh, oh. Dogs think they're like balls and floating right. around, so they like. And then they ruin them. your art by running right through it, right? Yeah. <laughs> you can find me at the Garfield Park uh, Farmers Market doing those. There you go. Kids there love go. it. Patty, what a find! What a find, <laughs> yes. Mr. Kelly. Thank you. And we've got on, and you've got a kitty cat at home. I right? do, Machi. We've got more cats coming up on on Pet Pals TV today, awesome. and how to keep your kitty calm. Maybe you have a cat that's kind of oh anxious, mm. especially mm -hmm. if you're going to go to the vet. How do you calm your kitty down? So uh -huh. we'll talk about that. And then on uh, Great Day TV, uh, take a look back since everybody's talking about James Bond. Uh, I talked to the Bond before this one, mm. Daniel Craig, 
uh, Pierce Brosnan. I got a little interview with him. That ah, we're lots in of the that way. We've stayed just the same. Hey, we do have a, a quick congratulations to share for Patty Spitler. Oh, gee. Congratulations. She was named the American oh. Senior Community's Advocate of the Year. She Yay. didn't know we were going to do this, but That's we great. heard about it and wanted to put it big on our screen to say congrats, Patty, for the stories you tell wow. and how they're recognized across the country. Oh, with Great no. Day TV and Pep House TV. <laughs> She's like, I get to do that. what I love to do, and it, and if it helps, that's good. It makes me happy. Aww. Don't make me cry. Well, you do it so well, Patty. We just love you. Thanks for bringing great stories and great artists Thank on you. for us every Saturday on Daybreak. Thank you. <laughs>